Hello everyone, welcome back. So today is a slightly different video. I've been given very exclusive access to Blackpool Pleasure Beach to go and have a walk around whilst it's shut. We're gonna go and take a look at some very exclusive areas and walk in some parts that you've never probably seen before. Let's go. I mean, you can literally almost, almost touch it. So it's a lovely day for it. As you can see, the park is empty. Isn't this so strange? So I understand this is the gate I've got to go through. They, uh, they have opened it for me. It is usually locked, but you can still hear some kind of music going on from the, uh, I think the Terror walkthrough. It's like they have left it open for me. I think they have. Padlock is off. Look at these gates. If you're trying to think you can get over those gates. <laughs> this is so weird. opening the big gate door. Wow, I really feel like I shouldn't be doing this. I better close it behind me, actually. <laughs> and before you ask, there are other gates to get into the park. So this is just kind of once you're inside, I better just shut this up though. Right, and here we go. So the guys have given me exclusive access to walk through the park just before it opens. There's not a soul walking around, maybe the odd member of staff. But um, I've always been fascinated by theme parks when they're closed and, uh, and how the atmosphere feels completely different. Just look at that outside of the, the Grand National. Now you might hear some of the rides going around because obviously they, they do a lot of testing. But it's almost like um, having a fast pass. There's no queues, there's no nothing. Um, we're allowed to walk pretty much everywhere, obviously where the public can go. I can't go obviously inside some of the rides due to health and safety. But yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a good nose round. The camera doesn't do it justice, the supports for the big one, they are so huge. So I understand they are filling up the fountain, or topping it up anyway. I'm assuming it's not going to go on. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, come on, you could have opened up to give me at least a coffee. Right, so um, I think what I'll do is I'll quickly take a, a left and walk past the, uh, the famous ghost train here in Blackpool. Obviously, this is famous because it's one of the world's oldest ghost trains but also it's one of the only haunted ghost trains as well in the world you can just hear the sounds of the trickling I don't know if you've ever noticed this look there's an actual stream going right through the floor this is so weird seeing the ghost train now this is normally quite noisy on the park if we have to see a video of this later on, but it's so spooky just seeing it all quiet like this. It's supposed to be haunted by Cloggy. I'm not gonna shout his name out. I don't wanna invoke the spirits. <laughs> but I'm sure people have done that before and shouted, oh, Cloggy, are you around? But I don't think I'd wanna go walking in there on my own. So you can't go wrong with the theme in it, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and there are not many theme parks that I know of that have plants like this. Look at that beautiful lily. They're not cheap either expensive <laughs> so just walking past the arena I've got a little bit of sun glare here so I'm going to try and keep everything on the right hand side I think they're doing some uh, they're actually jet washing the street keeping it clean and the attention to detail here at the Pleasure Beach a lot of people probably don't even know this that this is just an iron fence but just look up there there's a little roller coaster <laughs> going along and it's the only one in the park so um Make sure you have a look at that next time you come. Kind of supposed to symbolize the, the coaster. 
So this is interesting. This was started last year. It's the uh, the Pleasure Beach Wall of Names to celebrate their 125th year. People are allowed to put their their names on the wall of names. People who love coming to the Pleasure Beach, and uh, it's been so successful <laughs> that they're going to continue it all the way down here. Look, and they're still adding names now. Can you see your name on there? So they're very good with cleaning the park every day and uh, interesting fact they use recycled rainwater to clean all of the streets and surfaces in the park as well. It's Wallace and Gromit. Obviously they have their own radio station at the Pleasure Beach. Anyone in there at the moment? Can we ask for a request? Obviously I'm a bit of a DJ so they might be able to let me do a show. I don't think there's anyone in there. Not yet. Just out of interest, this is the old monorail. Can you see that? You'll see other parts of this in the park still standing. If you remember coming to the Pleasure Beach um, years ago, last time I rode the monorail was probably um, 2010. It ended and this is where the station obviously used to be. I thought it was somewhere around here. Now, if you've ever been on these cars, what is great about these is the fact that you control the speed and the stopping and starting. Obviously, there's a wheel there, so the wheels do turn, but obviously it goes around on a track, but it does feel like you're actually driving a car, and especially little kids. I know that my son's gonna love this when he gets a little bit older. In fact, forget my son, I do enjoy this as well. My favorite place, champagne and seafood. Big Dipper looking really pretty this morning in the sunshine. Look how quiet it is. It's really spooky, but really uh, nice at the same time. This is what you always want when you're coming on the Big Dipper. No queues whatsoever. And if you look down here, isn't it weird? We have this thing where we like to throw money in any kind of little water pond stroke thing. Now, whether it's good luck, I don't know, but people still love to throw their pennies in there. It's a thing that people do. There's <laughs> only pound coins in there. It's actually quite noisy. Can you imagine if you just booked the pleasure reach out? Just all day for yourself, that'd be great. First, in line, waiting to go. There you go, you can see the coins in there. There's a few 10 Ps, no gold in there though. Right, I'm gonna take you around this way. This is just where the, uh, the road is that goes through uh, the Pleasure Beach. Also, this is the disabled access route as well. This has to be one of my favorite uh, coasters. For that, normally these, uh, these jets are on. And as you go around there, you always think you're gonna get wet, but you don't. Although you might get a little bit of spray. Just quickly walk up to the front of the ride. Now, I don't know if you've ever been here as well, but it's, it's almost like a, a mini beach. You can't go on it, but uh, I like the theme in anyway. There's also, there used to be fish in here. Whether there's still fish in here, I don't know. And from here, actually, you get a really good view of the Big Dipper sign as well. I think that sign's fairly new. See little things you miss maybe when you're queuing for the rides. That water fountain there. I think they're doing some tests on Infusion right now. Just look at that. And also right next to Infusion, you can see one of the dips of the big one. So obviously they test the rides every day. I think that's what they're doing at the moment. I can actually just walk through the gate here. Shh, don't tell anyone. Just 
doing some maintenance at the moment to the ride. Obviously the best seat on this ride is obviously the front. By the way, if you watch to the very end of the video, I will be going on a few rides as well. I'll be here for when the park opens up, when I would say the hordes of people are gonna come in, but it's during the week and the uh, kids are still at school, so it should be a very subtle but quiet opening today. I feel very privileged to be able to, uh, to walk around here when it's, uh, it's so quiet, and especially in the sunshine, it's lovely. So this is the VIP stroke speedy entrance to uh, Icon and just going around the where the cars go did you ever notice there's an actual water fountain in the middle that's quite big quite special that so obviously when you've got a speedy pass you'd come through here so much easier to go through a speedy pass isn't it they're definitely worth the money and you get a different perspective of going on the rides but do you ever feel bad when you go on a speedy pass when you see all those people queuing up and then they look at you like dirt <laughs> when you've just arrived and you're like hi I'm ready to get on my ride now everyone get out the way so the theme into this ride is uh, really special and um, I know that if you've ever been on this ride a lot of people think oh there's security watching you there's just people in those rooms they're not rooms they are literally just mirrors but it does keep you on your toes right because you think to yourself well there's people sitting there behind these windows looking at you making sure that you're not doing anything wrong now um, if you've been coming to the park for a while if you haven't this ride um, has changed a little bit so not on this particular car but on the other one that uh, i think must be in the workshop uh, it's called enso so you've got two seats literally in the middle that also spin so i like the fact that blackpool pleasure beach even though this is still a fairly new ride have decided to switch it up and give something new on a ride that's still only a few years old that's where the person sits lets people in look at this we can go right to the front and that's where you launch from now i don't know whether you're a big fan of sitting on the front or maybe on the rear entrance what's also quite cool about this if i just go through here you see these little gold um, what look like boxes they all open up for people to put their stuff in and then they close and then when the next people come the other one opens up so your stuff will always be secure and safe but look at this it's just so quiet yeah the money shot obviously if you want to be on the front normally and you want to get a photo i'm not sitting on a proper seat by the way and the ride is not in action it's not going to shoot off or anything i'm perfectly safe at least i hope so but this is the kind of the best seat that you want to get for a photo when it takes it when you shoot off and you have to smile or try to smile and there's not many rides in the uk that i can say look as posh as this or smell as nice as this i'm getting kind of a hotel smell vibe probably because it's new or still new so a lot of people miss this you might remember that beaver creek used to be where nickelodeon land was well they've uh, they've got their own gardens around here and it's um it's quite pretty especially on a nice sunny day to have a walk around i think someone's actually oh, i thought <laughs> i thought someone's doing some gardening at the moment but that's part of it but look the kids can walk around uh, walk around here in fact I actually do see this garden when I'm queuing up for um, for avalanche and I didn't really think anything of it it's quite nice to walk around and you can even see one of the original log flumes I mean I know it's not something you think of doing when you come to uh, a theme park to walk around some gardens but it talks all about the flowers and look at this you could be uh, one of the few people that gets to sit on this bench because this is a uh, pretty closed off as you can see you can't get to this other than going through the gardens and then you can uh, you can sit on the bench here watch the cars go past so literally obviously i think the music must be on a timer or something but the the music has just literally started so hopefully i won't have too many problems with copyright i just wanted to show you something that i've actually just noticed that i have never seen here before um, and that's this seating area with um some old rides used as seats how amazing is this look dodgems or waltzers that is that is brilliant look at that and you can sit around with the family I haven't got the pole on them anymore but uh, isn't that cool 
Did you know that Blackpool has the world's largest rocking horse? Or we think it is anyway. You can actually go on it. It just costs one pound. I could get my bum in there. So just walking past Revolution. There's some things that you may miss. I mean, I've been coming to the Pleasure Beach now for like, um, well, over 20 odd years. And there's, uh, there's things that you miss, like uh, this little boating lake here, and even a working lighthouse that is putting the boats out for the day. Attention to detail, he's got a sieve there and he's collecting all the, uh, what are they, bits of algae, bits of plants that have been blown into the water. This is always interesting to walk under when the ride's on because uh, look, I mean, you can literally almost, almost touch it. You also get some good shots here if you're a photographer when the ride's on. Kind of scary to be here, but if you want to feel the adrenaline when, uh, when revolution's going, and the thing that used to scare me as a kid, and I, I often wondered if it's always on in the middle of the night when no one else is here. Yeah, you laugh all the time, but you put money in there, which obviously goes to charity, and then he kind of uh, swings around a little bit. But the laugh is a little, <laughs> it's a bit freaky, isn't it? So I always actually miss this, but the Pleasure Beach does have dodgems. So I thought I'd just show you the, uh, the Eddie Stobart ride, which is um, a one of a kind. I don't think there's any others like this in the UK where you actually ride in a truck. Obviously, you've got to be a, a youngster to do that, but how cool that is. So just quickly having a bit of a walk which I'm allowed to do as long as it doesn't go too high. Walk in this part of the track. Can you hear the laughing man in the distance? So in the shadow of the big one, which I, I know it's sunny, but it almost looks like the, uh, the paint has been very freshened up on this ride. And you think about the amount of money it must cost for, uh, for paint jobs on the park to keep these looking, uh, looking fresh. But especially with the blue sky, that looks pretty good. I feel sorry for the person that has to paint that because you literally have to get every single area. Did you notice this telephone box here? Meghan Markle on it. And some, I think we know who that is. This was painted by Timmy Mallet. So yeah, this is kind of apt for the uh, Platinum Jubilee this year. We've been on Icon, or well, we haven't been on it, but we've been inside. There's also a great viewing area actually for Icon. And I have to say, the, um, we talk about the theming to Icon. It does feel like a, an entrance to a really posh hotel. You don't see this on, on many theming of rides, do you? Look at the entrance and the big doors. I mean, these aren't like imitation doors. These are like proper chunky wood. A lot of people come up here to check out the ride as it goes. So like from up here, you get uh, a good shot and also from this side as well. So they had that in mind when they were designing the ride, which is quite special. So obviously to add the new ride icon, they actually had to remove part of the, uh, the structure there for the, uh, for the big one. Obviously we'll have a walk over there in just a moment. But a ride that um, I remember as a kid and the original signage is still here as well from the steeplechase. Let's just have a quick nose up here. I always remember as a kid going on this ride, good old steeplechase, all raring to go for the day. Guys are just doing some testing. So it's allowed me just to walk up here because the ride is obviously not operational, it's locked off. So I can walk up to the end here. So this is the exit to the ride. Let us know in the comments your favourite ride of the, uh, of the Pleasure Beach. When it comes into the track, I always think it's going gonna, it's gonna to get my legs. Because, 
because it looks so narrow coming in here. So let's walk into the big one. And this is what you always want to see, no queues at all. And you can't say this very often, but to an entrance to a ride with this, it's kind of uh, satisfying walking up here. It kind of feels like you're going on something special. And although I don't know if it's actually sponsored by Pepsi Max anymore or whether that's still there, I don't know, but it obviously used to be called the Pepsi Max big one. And you can just see how high it is. And um, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll be kind enough to let me walk that uh, exclusively later on in the year. But you can actually pay tickets to do that. They do certain events throughout the year where you can actually walk the big one. You can also walk the woody as well. But yeah, look, look they've even got a door. I think this is because of the weather. Is this open? No, it's locked. Look at that. Even though the park's shut, this is still locked in here. Obviously, I think it's to protect it for the weather. But that's where the coaster comes out, look. Gates are on. It looks so weird to see a coaster that have the actual gates come down all the way to the track. So let's go into the, um, the Chinese puzzle maze. It says free entry, but you don't have to pay for anything on the park anyway. I think those signs need to come down. Don't want to get my camera wet here. Oh, it's like it knows. Send the kids in here, you can get lost for hours. I think I'm going this way. Park opens up at 11, so I've still got to quickly go into Nickelodeon land um, and go and, uh, and quickly see the update on Valhalla as well. So I've got to be quick. Oh, and they're testing them. The maze is actually bigger than you think. And where it comes out actually is just behind the Nickelodeon streak. Congratulations, we've made it through the puzzle maze. Now that's interesting. Look at them. And I have to say, right, we are British and when we talk about going to the toilet, we always say, where are the loos? And in, in most places you'll see signs for toilets, but here, it tells it how it is, lose. So now this is uh, Nickelodeon land. It's almost a, a theme park within a theme park uh, for the younger children. They also have their own two coasters. What used to be the, uh, the old wooden roller coaster is now the Nickelodeon streak, which actually is quite good. And there's also a little mini wooden roller coaster called the Blue Flyer. On a day like today, when this is open later, you won't mind getting wet. And this ride is also pretty good for um, a nice warm sunny day. This kind of lowers, fills with water and literally people can squirt each other with these things and they just like press this, or not press this, use this and then spray someone. And then uh, let's just have a quick look at the old roller coaster. They used to be one of my favorites on the park. I think it was, I think I remember it being called Roller Coaster. It's now called the Nickelodeon Streak. So there's the Pleasure Beach Express getting ready to go for the day. So just quickly walking up here towards the carousel and the flying machines as well and obviously onto Valhalla. Valhalla obviously is, uh, is getting a little bit of an upgrade and should be opening this summer. So these are the, uh, the river caves. Which still has that uh, brilliant sign, Tunnel of Love. I think the fountains are on now. That actually is a really good ride. So one of the oldest rides, or a couple of the oldest rides coming up, Alice in Wonderland. And the attention to detail, look, there is someone here who has to change the date. I bet they'll get in trouble if that date's not changed. The original flying machines. A very understated ride, I think, at the Pleasure Beach. You've never been on that. Now, I know the park is closed, but there's a special group of people just going on the, uh, what used to be the ice blast. So back in the early days, this was one of the most popular attractions on the Pleasure Beach, the flying machines, and they still are hugely popular today. Again, they're just getting ready. The 
the guy there presses the button. Once the ride is in motion, and there, there are some people in the park that have got exclusive access to go on this today. Arms and legs inside the rocket. So Valhalla is going to be opening up this year. It's been uh, completely reimagined, and it should be pretty epic. If you've ever been on this ride in the past, you'll know that uh, you get absolutely soaked, and I think you'll still get absolutely soaked. So that'll be pretty special when that opens up again. So I want to say a massive thank you to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for letting me come and film the park whilst it's closed. I'm just here in the ticket hall as they are about to let people in for the day and uh, I think it should be a good day considering it's, uh, it's very warm and sunny out there but uh, as I'm already in the park I might as well go on a few rides. And if you fancy seeing me going on some of the rides don't forget to click the video here, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.